it's very difficult to use your sort of historical um, valuation metrics on this one purely because it really is a portfolio company. Um, you know, if you look at all the other assets that it has, um, it, it's very difficult to, to actually look from an earnings point of view what this company will do. I think if anything, you look at the trajectory, the, the trend in terms of what the earnings are doing. But most people look at this company from a, some of the parts point of view. So you take the individual businesses, individual companies that are in it and you value them independently, aggregate them, and typically put some kind of holding company discount to get a sense of what the actual uh, portfolio company is worth in, in entirety. What do you believe that the actual portfolio of companies is worth in its entire, entirety? I mean, at, at this point, you can, you can approach it from different angles, but you know, the sum of the parts is significantly more currently uh, in our assessment than where the share is currently trading. Um, I think what most people do is they look at, at Tencent and they say, well, if Tencent is call it 72% of the sum of the parts, and mail.ru is maybe the other 9 or 10%, then really this company is driven in terms of its valuation by these two businesses. And these two businesses unfortunately traded really high multiples. How we approach it is we look at the cash flows from both companies and then we put what is a reasonable multiple on those cash flows and then we look at the other businesses. I mean if you think about it realistically, the largest contributor to earnings really is the pay TV business. Yet it is less than 20 percent of this company's valuation from the perspective that most people look at it from. So what we do is we try and we value um, the pay TV business as a full business, not just as a small business that is only contributing a small portion of the valuation. And using those methodologies, they try to be slightly more prudent, as it were, in putting lower multiples on the 10 cents in the mail.ru's and putting appropriate multiples on the pay TV business. We come up with some of the parts that is significantly above where the current uh, the shares currently trading. So would you be buying at these levels then? I mean, if you look at where it's been, I mean, I think it's kind of hit, I think, close to f about 406 rand a share. It's back to 360. Now, you know, if you look at it from an from a, a PE point of view, it's sitting on a 22.6 times earnings. And th that, that is deceptive. I mean, I, I personally would want to buy it purely because what is implied in terms of the rump, in terms of the South African assets, is, is a very low multiple. I think it's, it's sub five times. So, you know, I, I, I think there's value to be unlocked if you actually buy this business at current level.